Yes. Hi, so thank you for agreeing to sit down for this interview. If you could just briefly state your name and your current position um, and maybe a quick synopsis of how you've been involved with GASP recently. Yes, my name is Mike DeWita. I'm the executive director of Scenic Pittsburgh. I used to be a state senator and a county commissioner, but my claim to fame is that 50 years ago I joined GASP uh, as a student and have enjoyed it, you know, ever since. Mm -hmm. uh, not too long ago, I was asked to do some things for GASP, and I, of course, did, and I contact my legislators and city council people and, and all the things that I always suggest that people need to do uh, in order to keep this issue alive. Great, thank you. When you were a uh, state council representative, a state council representative, how did your involvement with GASP influence your policy making decisions? Well, in those days, it was viewed that in Pittsburgh and in this area, the only way to have prosperity was to have dirty, polluted skies. GASP taught me that that's not true. And so it really helped make it easier for me to get a handle on environmental issues. Uh, which up till that time had just had that one philosophy. How has being gas, being with gas for the last 50 years changed your perspective of environmental activism? Well, I now know you can win. And uh, we won back then with no money and no, no power at all. Uh, and now the public is beginning to understand uh, that there are many ways in which to develop a good economy, but that the one thing you must have is clean air and, and basically the idea of GASP and, and companies and places like it are that we must, we must make sure that people can breathe. Thank you. Um, what has been the greatest change within GASP during your time with this organization? Well, we, it was a, a group with no money, no influence, and, and uh, was battling a, uphill all the way. It's a much more professionally run group than it was, and it has a, a, an easier inroad into the, the public's mindset and the public's uh, political leaders. Thank you. And then just for a uh, last question here, do you have any advice to students who are getting involved in environmental activism that are, you know, maybe feeling saddened or depressed by our current political state? Yes, the political state 50 years ago, believe it or not, was probably worse. There was not a one leader that would depress you like we currently have, but it was not easy to get anybody at any level to think in terms of environmental. So now they do. They start off with an understanding that clean air is important. And that is the difference. So don't be depressed. Uh, we'll get rid of the current leader of the country soon enough and then we'll, but we can win this at many levels. Uh, for example, city council is, is very strongly for it. Uh, the public uh, has made that so, and the same thing with the legislature. So I think, uh, don't don't frown, smile. Thank you. That is some great advice. Um, thank you again for agreeing to this interview, and I hope you have a lovely evening. You as well.